been a while. Uh, you, you ain't kidding. But it is Tuesday. It is Tuesday. It's Tipple yeah. Tuesday. I could use the tipple. I could use several tipples. And we like Tuesdays. We do. We do. We do. I'd like it better if it was a Friday or a Saturday, but, you know, I'll take Tuesday. We're going to start off with a classic. A Dogfish Head 75-minute IPA. They made a 60. They made a 90. They made a 120. And then I think about maybe seven years ago, I vaguely remember, like, one of the beer fests, they launched the 75-minute, which is... A sweet spot between the 60 and the 90. So this is sort of the Goldilocks of beer. This could be the Goldilocks of beer. One is not one hoppy is enough. One is too, too hoppy. And this one hopefully is just right. Just right. <laughs> so, so nice. So we're going to find out. Um, here, you don't... Yeah, let me... Yeah. You want to do the honors? I'll do this. You can do the honors. Do you have something to read? Yeah, I do, actually. I do. See, look. Read right. away. See, da, da, da. And look, it even comes... It came with a pretty card. See? Ooh. 3D House of Dogfish Head. <laughs> Ooh, Skeddy. Ooh, Skeddy. Ooh, ooh. By the way, it's Halloween in two nights. Skeddy. Ooh. Okay, so 75 minute IPA is back. Honestly, I didn't realize it went away. Offering a twist on the brewery's classic continually hop series, this year's iteration of 75 minute IPA, which clocks in at 7.5% ABV, is brewed with New England maple syrup, continually hopped throughout the entire boil, and dry hopped with a slew of Cascade Hops. Dry what? Dry hopped. Hopped. Oh, I'm sorry. Hopped. Okay. Hopped. I thought you said something else. Hopped. With a slew of Cascade Hops. The result is a malty, full-bodied base beer with citrusy pine hop flavors balanced by subtle maple notes. So, I didn't realize, I didn't know about this whole thing with the, um, with the, what was it? The maple syrup. The maple. That's interesting. Um... Very nice. Take a look at the bottle. Yeah. Anything? Pretty picture. It is. Brewed maple syrup. Yeah, they get, they get jiggy. Comes in at their seven and a half. It's not too odd, but not too shy. Mm -hmm. It's a good number. So let's find out. This is Goldilocks. Pretty Interesting. Cool. It's a 75 minute IPA and it's 7.5% APV. I wonder if that was intentional. I don't know. You know, the guys uh, working over there, they, uh, they do a lot of stuff. They don't, like you would say, they don't mess around. Yeah. They don't mess around. So, okay. Cheers. Cheers. You know, the color is, is a little dark. It's, it's maple it's, almost. Yeah, it is, but I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's and not cloudy. Like, yeah, it's not typically like a, yeah. like a pale orange yeah. or a yellow. Yeah. It, it is, and it's cloudy. And look, there's little bits in there. Well, see that's little bits on the bottom? Maybe some, some of that yeah. good quality pith. Can you see some of the pits? I know you like that pithing. Yeah, not much in the way it had a lacing. It smells good. I, it does definitely, definitely malty. Definitely malty, like get, candied orange. And a little sweetness, too. You don't get, uh, you know, a lot of the, the dogfish head, you get a lot of that grapefruity uh -huh. kind of smell coming nah, off the top. Nah, and instead, nah. this is more apricot, I think. You think apricot? I'm thinking, uh, apricot. I'm thinking orange marmalade. Orange, orange marmalade. Orange marmalade. Orange marmalade. Little Dundees in the crock. I like the French one. And naturally, you do. Of course. I like the Francais. See, uh -huh. you got to be on the continent. You can't go onto the island well, where the know, riffraff I, live. I typically find my myself to be a little nasally, so I just... <laughs> the Francais. <laughs> Cards and letters... G low, G low. <laughs> Why the cards and letters? What are you trying to say? <laughs> so yeah, orange marmalade is the thing I'm getting, and then after that I get the hops. You know that pininess, that yeah. resiny. Which is normally the opposite of what you get from yeah. like a sixty or a ninety, right? I don't, rem I don't know about this. I think the maple thing is new, right? Yeah, I don't remember having maple on this. No, time neither before. do I. But I don't they're know. seasonal. They're doing something for the a winter know. warmer. But the nose again, orange marmalade, and then uh, then that the piney resiny hops on the back end. That that's what I'm getting out of this. So I'm gonna go in for a little taste. You checking your phone? You supposed to put that thing on. I'm, I'm putting it on mute. You were supposed to put that on mute before I you roll the camera. I didn't realize I didn't have it on mute. You know, with our budget, we'll make this up in editing. Maybe not. Maybe we will. I don't know. Hmm. A little fizzy. A little thick. It's definitely thick. Yeah, it's got thick. some body to it. A fizzy. No, it's not super carbonated. No, a little bit of fizz. But I mean, no. it's not. It's not. It's not flat. flat. Yeah. No, it's just kind of a smooth and creamy. It's more like a New England IPA from the creamy aspect, I would say. And, uh, yeah, but it's I'm, not like a New England IPA. I'm not it's getting... It's not juicy. I'm not getting uh, the maple, really. Well, you get I a think, little sweetness, but yeah. I'm not getting a lot of... Well, not pure maple. It doesn't taste... Well, like, like a, candied sugar, so I'm not getting... Yeah, it. no, no, no. But it is malty. It's very malty, like a biscuity, like, mm -hmm. a, like a tea cracker, you know, those little tea biscuits. It is good. Mm-hmm. Well balanced. I know you're not really, you know... You like IPAs, but you I don't, don't love IPAs. I do not. How do you feel well, about this one? A lot of IPAs, they tend to, to me anyway, to be almost like a hop dare. 
mm-hmm. where we crammed so many chops in it, it's nearly a solid. Okay. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not so interested yeah. in that. Um, the well-crafted IPAs that don't do that are very good beers. I don't find them to be terribly refreshing. I don't know that I'd have more than maybe, maybe two. Mm-hmm. Um, this is really good. I like this, this is nice. Awesome. The it's 60, I've always found this, you know, just a good, easy drinking, like, you know, it's a good IPA. Solid beer. Yeah. The 90 is a little bit much. Yeah. The 120 is, is way too much, I think. It's that's a, a dare. That's, that's, the, that's the, the hot bomb. I think, they, I think the, in, the people in the know call it dank. <laughs> dank. Dank. Oh. I don't know. I, that's, I believe. I haven't had it in years. Is, is that where we get to your biker shorts that you like no, to no, refer just, to? Just, <laughs> yeah, maybe. Just <laughs> dank. Just dank. That's, but no, this is really nice. It's nice. I like this. Nice. This is good. It has a little bit more to it than a typical IPA mm. in terms of the hops profile. Yeah. There's a little more balance to it, a little more in it. With, it's, uh, it's, it's not very citrusy. It's not tropical mm. at all. Yeah. It's no, just a good solid beer. That is very good. I like that a lot. That is very good. So really, the 75 might be the sweet spot. Yeah. It might be the Goldilocks. Not yeah. too... Not too... Meh. Not too... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's... Ah. Oh. See? There you go. What? There's something wrong with you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, again, like I said, you keep coming back. So, okay, you know, it's all right. I know what it is. Oh, I didn't it's say the alcohol. I didn't say that wasn't something wrong with me. Yeah. <laughs> we should be getting a group discount. Mm. So, yeah. if, you, if you had to give it a letter grade. Oh, I, I'd give it an A. I an think a? it's good. I think it's and like an A, A minus. If you gave it a number, high 80s? Uh, nine, nine, a minus would be like a 91. 91? Yeah, that's yeah. very good. So, um, yeah. So, what are you saying? Where are you at? A minus? A? Yeah, well, I agree with you. Yeah. I think it's very good. It's solid. This feels more like, I think, what the New England or the East Coast IPAs were more like. You know, now they've gone to that creamy New England style IPA. I think this is more like what an East Coast was yeah. like. That's so, good. It's really like well it. balanced. Well done. Yep. So, thank you to the fine folks at Dogfish Head for sending this along. We approve. Cheers. Cheers.